Broadway's biggest shows, Broadway's hottest tickets, they're all right here, along with Broadway's brightest stars. I'm Tamsin Fidel. This is The Broadway Show. Let's get going. February is Black History Month, and this week and all month long, we'll be highlighting black performers, organizations, and more. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, take care, T-C-B. Let's kick off this episode with Broadway's original dream girl, Tony and Grammy Award winner Jennifer Holliday. She's coming back to the New York City stage, playing 54 Below later this month. We had a chance to chat. So so let's talk about it. I mean, you have uh, an exciting show at 54 Below, so tell me about it. Turn the beat around, right? This is going to be part of the Diamond series. And so it's kind of that old, classic Hollywood kind of thing, you know? I'm going to be singing kind of a mixed group of songs because I wanted it to be very personal. You know, it's a small, intimate space and um, just wanted people to get an opportunity to get to know me a little bit through the song. So, um, so I'm gonna have some standards, but I'm also gonna have some soul music. Of course, I'm gonna have Broadway and my signatures of stuff from Dream Girls as well. So just gonna try to make it well-rounded and give a little bit of insight into me personally. Stop on the rivers, push, go, get killed. I'm not gonna leave it. There's no way I will. Tell me a little bit about that, because I feel like as, you know, we came out of the pandemic, people are, I feel like we're all a bit more raw in terms of uh, who we are and what we're willing to share that maybe we weren't willing to share before, right? You hit it on the head. That's exactly how I feel. I have plenty of time to do a show that's with just straight songs of old songs you've already heard before somebody else sing. I'd like to have some personal attachment to it. These young people have brought me into uh, this, you know, this new time and 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 really uh, have uh, revived my my career in a great sense. I think because. We want truth and authenticity, and it registers with us differently. And the, these young people, they're seeing now, my parents wouldn't have never even told us. They wouldn't have told us they're having financial problems. They wouldn't have told us they're fighting, you know, all of those kind of things. But these young people have seen so much. I get excited to see see it not just be all about the youth and all about 20 and 30 year olds. I'm, I'm a 52 year old woman and I, I didn't know I was still gonna be on camera at 52 years old in all honesty. And and to see this, um, you know, resurgence of all different ages and the fact that we're kind of just getting started at these ages now is, is pretty exciting to me. It is so exciting. And I, I really agree with you because I think because we were experiencing this before going into the pandemic, that we were kind of saying to ourselves, I need to accept myself as I am and meet myself at whatever age that I am. You know, so it's kind of like Mary J. Blige says, she gets up every morning and says, good morning, gorgeous. You have to really speak to yourself and know where it is that um, you want to to be, and I feel that even for myself at 62, I'm keep going, okay, I'm thinking about, you know, Lena Horne, I'm thinking about all of these women who are in their late, Cicely Tyson, all of them, fashion statements, all the way up into the end. And I'm going, I, I, I wanna kick my own self into gear like that as well. I've traveled, you know, extensively over my 44 year career and been around the world. But I think I would like to go around the world again because I haven't been there as this Jennifer. And I think the whole experience would be different. What's your advice to those people that, that you know, I, I, that are afraid and they, they look to somebody like you and say, I want to be her. So in terms of our personal overall wellness, we really have to, again, start inside and in saying to ourselves that it's okay for us to age and embrace our beauty of aging, we're a work in progress until we're not here anymore. And I think that that's the way we should look at it. I think that the fear though, is the environment of the people around us. Will the people who liked me this particular way so long, no longer love me? 
after I'm certain age and my friends or whatever, and just kind of like with my with my weight, uh, I I may I. I used to weigh almost 400 pounds. I had ballooned up to 344 pounds or something like that. You know, I was one of the first celebrities to have gastric bypass. And I thought that that was gonna change my whole life. I, I, I lost the weight, but I still had baggage. I still had issues. So, so it's really, we gotta learn that you can lose weight, you can, fix your face, you can whatever, it's all still gonna have to come to what's inside of us.